I tēnei rā i rungi e Huntina Aotearoa, ka haere tā tau ki te wahi pā mā mā o rau atu a Aotearoa katoa, ara ko te āta whenua, Fiorin. Ko āta whenua te kaingo o te kararehe, me ua ua ka kitea, ara ko te wapati. Ko hanti na o te aroa, mai tana u kai po i roto rua, taino atu ki te pito tonga o te wai paunamu. Ke te puna o te wai reka hau, e tūtaki atu ana ki te tangata mana mātou, e hari ki te wai paunamu mahi aru aru ai. Whānamu here to meet the, the real lion man. He just loved that. I think he wants me to do a bit of culling. Cut out a few lines. Kia ora, Stu. Oh, how are you? How are you, mate? mate? Hey, hey, no claws, no claws, no claws. Yeah, you do. Biggest pussy I've ever seen, mate. Oh, yeah, me too. <laughs> so I understand you wanted me to do a bit of culling out here. Uh, yeah, well, we could do that, but we normally just do it with a deer, Howie. <laughs> we like to look after these little fellas. How long is that one, mate? Uh, she's, uh, um, she's, she's only a youngster, she's only two. Yeah. Tell you what, I like my view better than yours here. Shit, they'd eat a lot, wouldn't they, mate? Um, yeah, they're out prize eating a horse a week. Holy hell. Okay, yeah, yeah. Well, I understand you're going to take me on a bit of a hunt anyway. Yeah, we might uh, take you into Fiordland. Introduce you to the Wapiti. So in Fiordland, it's uh, mainly Wapiti we're going to check out, eh, mate? What? In this area, it's, it, it's becoming predominantly wobbly, yeah. Am I going to come down with you or uh, meet you down there or what? No, I'll meet you at the uh, statue of the wobbly bull just outside Tiano and uh, we'll pick you up from there. Take you in, okay? So, how good. I've got to go, mate. I've got to go and let the rest of these critters out. Okay, mate. Okay? Yeah, I'll leave you to it. We'll see you there. Rather you than me, mate. Kei te anau te roto nui rawa tuarua o Aotearoa katoa. Ā, ah, koe i nei tonu te waharoa ki āta whenua. Ko āta whenua te kaingo a te wapati. I nā kaore koe e mohe o he aha te wapati, a ki nei koe ka kitea. Well, here I am. I hope that's the wapati I'm supposed to be waiting by. Big bugger. Hopefully there's a few more of those up in there in āta whenua. And hopefully my ride comes and picks me up because... bloody long walk from all Rotorua, I tell you. Kai hea koe, Stu. Hey, hey, mate. Hey, Dan, I'm Chris. Hey, mate. Yeah, Roy and Stu sent me along to pick you up. So we'll go and catch up with them, but I've got a couple of things I want to show you before we go. Sounds good, mate. Kia lega! Ka tahi te pere tirai hana ko tērā. Ko Chris te tiamana me te kai pūpuhi mai roto waka topa-topa mo te ropu wapati o āta whenua. Nō rātou tahi ko te papa āta whai, ngā mahi patu i ngā kararehe nana ki o te rohe. Ko te tahi o rātou mahi, he patu i ngā tori ura. Traps all along here. Yep, you're all good where. Hilly, this is Dave. G'day mate. G'day Harry. Good to meet you. Yeah, hey. got a couple of stoats already down the track. Yeah, I see that. And uh, got another one in the trap here. Good to see them dead like that. These stoats have done a lot of damage out in the bush here, and um, there's actually a lot of trapping going on in Fiordland. And the Fiordland Wapiti Foundation are doing some good work trapping up Worsley and the castle, protecting Theo mostly with the trapping up there. Mm. It's been really, really good, successful program. We just did some river survey work up there. Well, we, they walk the rivers twice a year and just looking for Theo numbers. And since we've started the program up there, there has been a small increase in the in the numbers of fio in the rivers, and we've seen juveniles up there for the first time this year. 
So that's really, that's good. We want to see young ones. And Where'd those things originate from? How did they, how did they get here? Oh, they were brought, brought out to New Zealand. Um, originally the idea was that um, they'd be let go and breed up and kill off all the rabbits that were causing a lot of problems for the farmers in the early days, yeah. back in the you know, late 1800s. But uh, unfortunately they didn't uh, finish off the rabbits for the farmers, but they uh, finished off quite a few native birds and um, still getting into them. And uh, so yeah, we're trying to get our own back now. What about your association, Doc's association with uh, FWF? I mean, DOC and FWF yeah. sounds like a tag team. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. No, we've been uh, working pretty closely together the last few years. Um, of course, we've you know, got responsibilities for seeing the uh, area managed and all the native plants and animals looked after. Um, yeah, FWF want to uh, look after the wapiti in terms of uh, hunting potential, but uh, there's also a need to control numbers there so that um, you know, we don't want uh, an overpopulation and uh, getting into the native vegetation. So they've sort of come on board with uh, the control program and reducing numbers of deer. And uh, you know, while that's going on, it's an opportunity to cull out the red deer mm. heavily and just leave some of the very best wapiti behind. Yeah. And we, have, we have a lot of help from the hunters themselves. Um, as, as you'll be aware, we do a ballot system for the bugle. So there's two two-week periods that hunters can go in, um, and if the hunters are successful, they contribute $120 to the to the foundation, Fiona Wapiti Trust, and that money is specifically set aside for animal control within the Wapiti area. So the hunters themselves are contrib contributing to the control measures going on in there. Well mate, it's nice, nice to meet you. Yeah, good to catch up with you. And good, good to see you doing a good job then. Yeah, yeah thanks Harry. So what's, uh, what's in the uh, plan for these? Are you going to take it back and fry them up for lunch? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no I've given up on that. <laughs> no choice, mate. Good to yep. see you doing good work here alongside FWF. Yep. Good but work. now um, I'm off to meet uh, I've got Roy, a go, and, go and see Roy and Stu and get meet up at the supermarket and get some food for your trip into the Wapiti country. That sounds like, like a great plan. That'll be a good one. He pai te kite atu i ngā mahi tiaki i ngā manu mō rea rea a te rōpū wapati o āta whenu. Thank you mate, catch up with this afternoon eh? Yep, no worries. Check uh, your eye out. Yeah, yeah. Roy's in there so he'll, he'll catch up with you and get all that tucker and we'll catch up this afternoon. Sweet mate. That'll be awesome. See you then. Okay, cheers. Tēnā, he aha te ahu o te Roy nei. You look like a hunter, mate. Yes. Roy. How are you? How are you, mate? Going? Good to meet you. I uh, bumped into Stu. He's uh, sent me down here to uh, obviously uh, hook up with you. I've just been with Chris and a few of the boys from Doc, and uh, now I'm in your hands, mate. What do we need? Normally, just these single serve roast chicken and a few nuts on the hill. Monkey food. <coughs> you obviously menu your your menu is obviously different than mine. Usually mine is uh, boil up and uh, boil up and more boil up, <laughs> with a bit of bully beef shown in between. Oh well, I'll follow your lead, mate. As long as we get Uncle Bully in there, I'll be happy. Hey, ta Roy me koe to mahara wa aku peke. Kia mama ake ai taku hiko i ngā puke tai tai. Nō reira koe hoko miti. Engari pe he te hei hei nei. Best with your hunting. Thank you very much. Okay. We all set, mate. Come on, how are you ready? Okay. Do you have it, Here we come. Yeah, Moody, oh, 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 no. Eat a pangi, I te wa kainga nei o mato tupuna, kuata finua. E finua to po kinana, ita to marumaru. Na te tei tei hoki o nga puke. Ka noho anu anu tonu ngā wawa nei mo te roanga aki o te rā. Kaore e tino tai tai a tēnei wahi i te wahi a rātou mā. Engari, he pai ki a Roy, rau a ko Stuart, mo te tiro tiro haere. Kua pau te rua te kaumāri mā miniti i runga waka topa topa, a kua tai atu ki te taupuni. Kei ngā puke whakamiharo tonu a ku whakaaro, I tō mātou taunga mai ki te papa. 
Kārere atu te kai tango whakāhu a Richie, laua ko Chris ki ta patu tia i a hau e ronga tonu ana i te wehi o tēnei whenua. Kaore he kupu e kōrero i te atahu a tēnei whenua. Tau kē! This week we're talking about traps. Adam, take it away, mate. Okay, how are you? I'm going to uh, show you the principle of a deadfall trap. Okay, deadfall is uh, a basically a heavy object propped up, released by a trigger, which hopefully will land on the animal, rendering it dead or unconscious or whatever. So um, provide us some food um, in a simple way. Okay, Howie, this is our ground stake. Okay, we're going to impale this on the ground, whack into the ground. I've sharpened an end here to make uh, life a lot easier. Um, you can see our, one of our key points here that's been cut out. And you see that sits in there quite nice. This is very important. This is a, is a great fit, okay? Um, down here, I've made a, a, a special cut, okay? And you can see here, I've made another cut, an angled cut here, which will sit on our um, weight support. Now, as you can see, if I slide it in there, it slides into there like that, and that fits up into there. So it's very important these cuts are made correctly, otherwise the, uh, the deadfall will not work properly and you just find it's a uh, little work. You lift this up, Howie. Bit of a rough, mate. Right, not really. This is, this is our deadfall, Howie. It can be as, as heavy as you want, as big as you want, uh, but the principles are still the same. Um, according to what game we're trying to target, depends on how big and lethal that this uh, deadfall is going to be. Right. So if we hold that up here, I'll put on our stake here. And we've got our bait stick there and our dead weight support arm, which will sit in there like that. All right, if you slowly lower that down, and we'll just slowly put that on there so it takes up the weight. All right. Looks like it, mate. Like that there. Okay. Right, that's pretty much it. We can put our bait on here, on this arm here, okay? The animal will come along either way. You'll hit that arm, knock everything out, and that whole dead weight will come falling, crashing on him. Okay, got the stick here, Howie, and we'll do it as the action as if the animal's pulling it down. Okay. Not better, right, mate? <laughs> One squashed animal. Instant rabbit mint. <laughs> Too much, right, mate? There you have it, Fano. Adam's trap tip for the week. Richie nga mahi katoa me tahi o nga kararehi i rungara. Ka paka kero kero hia e tahi e Chris. He puhi pai e hoa! E ngari, ko tō māua ko roi mahi he whakatika tika i te takoto o te whenua mō te whakatū teniti. It's been a while since I slept in the tent. Oh, yeah? Yeah, well, I used to sleep when I was young, fella, but I still woke up two tents. Kua patua e tahi tia whero, me e tahi wapati hoki e Chris. He mahi tuaki kei te haere ke a tau noa te waka topa-topa ki te paparite. Chris e mahi ana e nei mahi, nā kua waia kē rātou ko ana hoa mahi ki e nei tikanga. Kā pai rātaku hoa e stu, koi nā te mahi. Kā tahi te mahi tino pai rawatu ko tēnei, kei runga noa atu. Te paua ka mātāo e nei. Ngā mihi ki a koe e Richie mō ngā whakāhu a tino pai rawa. Kā moi, kā ho moata te ata ki a haere mā raro tahi me Roy rawa ko Stuart. He rangi pai huarere anō i te āta whenua, engari i mui te mahi aruaru ana i etahi kōrero e pāna ki te wapiti. 
e hara tēnā ingoa wapati i te ingoa Māori, no te iwi Kiri Whenoke, no te iwi Kri Amerika. He mea Māori a mai ki a ta whenua, i te tau ko tahi mano e iwa rau Mārima, hei karare he whaiwhainga mo te rohe. Koi nei te tahi o ngā tūmomo tia rahi rawa o te ao katoa. Ko te whainga a te rōpū wapati o āta whenua, hei whakaako i te tini me te mano e pā ana ki tēnei te kāhui wapati motuhake anake i waho atu i Amerika. Ko arahi te pahu pahu, hoake tātou te aru aru. Kia ora whānau, first morning, first overnight stay in Fjordlands. The boys got a plan for us? Yeah, we'll split up and Stu and the gang will head over towards the coast. We'll pop up over the tops here to these faces before the sun gets up and hopefully the deer will still be out and around. OK, mate, we're away. Ka haere tō tika atu māua ko Roy ki te tihi o te puke. Kei a Stu tana kamera, hei whakaahua i ngā kararehe. E rita tonu ia ki te kai whakaahua ki a Richie. Kei runga māua ko Roy i ngā puke, e tiro tiro ana ki raro ki ngā awawa. Kei tō stu taha, he āwha ke te heke mai. Me hoki ki te taupuni, kia mara matonu ai te titiro. Kei mau māua, i tau a āwha. This distant knob I'm looking at over here in the distance with my binoculars, and here uh, this time last year filming for the Field and Wapi Foundation, there were three young bulls um, almost right on the very top of that knob and a cow and a calf down below, probably another 100 metres down below them, but they're right up high. And that's the result of the um, animal management program in here now, where selective animals have been taken out. There are still animals to be found in the snow grass, which is, um, is a fantastic result. Just looking through my binoculars again at it, I noticed something on the top of the knob which looked very much like uh, an animal uh, with antlers, and sure enough, um, my camera's got a, 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 a expanded focus and you, can, uh, you can't record with it but you can use it almost like a spotting scope and there's quite a nice bull I would say a little bit hard to tell exactly because we're so far away but um, he's certainly a, a, a lot bigger bull than the three young ones we saw there last year and he's almost right on top of that knob way above the bush line. Kei runga maua ko roi ngā puke e tiro tiro ana ki raro ki ngā awawa. Ko mā whānau, I've seen my first wild wapiti. Wapiti cow and a, and a calf, just down there, but uh, we're going to try and go around there a bit more. I think that's the plan, isn't it? Yeah, we'll go around and have a, have a look at it, see if we can get a bit of closer. It um, looks like a wapiti from here, but could have a bit of red in it. We'll just have a look at it. And could be shootable or it might not be. It's pretty hard at this distance. Kei tō stu taha, he āwha ke te heke mai. Me hoki ki te taupuni, kia māra matonu ai te titiro. Kei mau māua, i tau a āwha. Yeah, we've got a bit of a change in the weather here. That cloud's coming down, it's starting to split a bit, so we might just, um, there's supposed to be a front coming through, so we might just head back to uh, towards camp and see how we go. <laughs> He maha ngā kararehe kua kitea e māua ko Roy, engari kaore anō ki a kitea e te himea pai mo te pupuhi. Hei aha noa, he pai tonu te kitea atu. How many wapiti he bowled over? Have I bowled over? I've only ever shot three wapiti, um, mainly trophy hunting. Too far to cut the meat out, get the meat closer to home, so... You'd think they'd stand out, eh? The size of them, they're like, they're like bloody horses, mate. I mean, we've seen a couple of cows and a, and a calf. They look like look like big maggots on a hill face when you do see them, no? Yeah. But, um, yeah. I don't know about you, mate, but my legs are telling me it's kai time. What do you reckon? Back to camp. Back to camp. Slightly, slightly steeper. How did you get on, guys? That's how we cook lunch. <laughs> <laughs> That was a good morning, mate. Yeah, yeah. Good morning. Saw a... Um, Something to report? I saw a... Yeah, we saw a cow and a calf and a... 
Another cow. How was your day? Uh, we had a little bit of a walk over here. Um, it was bright and sunny, then it started to deteriorate a bit. The cloud came in and the fog came through eventually. But one thing we did do is we spotted a, um, which could have been quite a nice bull. And um, he had a bit of antler up. And um, to see what I could see at that range, he must have had something reasonable. Hard to say, but um, I would certainly like to have a closer look at him. They're big animals, mate. They look more like horses. Yeah, they are. They're, um, they're the, the, uh, the biggest deer we've got in New Zealand, uh, barring, of course, if there is uh, possibly still a moose further south of here. I don't know about that one. What brings you, mate, all the way from Rotorua out to here? I mean, we've got mountains like uh, Tanawita back home. Uh, yes, we have, and it's one of my favourite pieces of landscape in the whole world. But I came down here in 2006 with Colin Davy, who was a well-known wobbly hunter from way back, and had shot the last really big wobbly up until recently. And uh, doing a vegetation study with Colin in here, and doing some filming with him, and one thing led to another. I got to meet guys from the foundation, and through that, to uh, meet Roy, and um, uh, it's all been happening since then. Oh, mate, something smells nice. I better go and check out our mate Rory and see what he's got brewing up for us. What do you mean? Right behind you. I'll just check a bit more of this footage out. Right. And uh, then I'll be right with you, Howie. You go for it. Not bad, mate. Yeah. Mm. Got time for you too? Ko te pepeha e me ana, kaore anō ki a mahi aru aru ki a tai koe ki a ata whenua. Ko mārama e rā kōrero i nai nei, i taku taenga mai ki konei, me te chichiro atu ki ngā paenga me ngā kino hoki o tēnei wahi. E hia kē pō, ka noho tonu mātou ko aku hoa mahi ki konei, a ko te tūmanako ka tai a e au te whakahoki atu i te tahi taonga kahurangi. Hei te wiki e heke mai nei, ka hoki anō tātou ki a tā whenua me ngā mahi whaiwhaitia. Ka pātaku ringa ki ngā mahi tunu kai. A, ka puta te kai whakaahua Richi rātou ko Roy, ko Stu hoki ki ngā pai maunga noho ai. Nō reira, hoki mai anō a tērā wiki ki te hōtaka aru aru motuhake o Aotearoa. Here they have a habit. There you have it, Fano. Amazing Kai, very elephant. Yeah. So there you have a Fano. Amazing Kai prepared with very little effort. <laughs> so there you have a Fano. 